Well, hello there, grade twos and threes. I'm really excited to be here talking to you. I hope you're watching from home and uh, I hope that uh, we can start to learn some things together again. As you can see, I've set up a tiny little classroom at my house and we are gonna keep learning together. Um, my, uh, my motto right now is even though we can't be at the school building, uh, school is not just a building. School is when we all get together and learn together and uh, when we support each other. So uh, right now we are in school, even though you're at home. So I hope that's good for you. Now, like in school, before we start learning, we need to make our brain ready. So remember this? Yeah, Nurse Rachel brought this in. So I'm gonna ring that and we're gonna do our star breathing. So please do this with me at home. I can't check, but please do it with me. That was actually good for me too. I'm a little bit nervous if you can't tell. I wasn't trying to be a YouTuber, but here we are. So as you can see, today is Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. And you might think, yeah, it doesn't look like April out there, Mrs. Cron. We had a big snow the last two days. Let's be grateful for that. First of all, it's something new to look at outside. Secondly, if you have a yard to go out in, you can start drawing in the snow. In fact, I've been making uh, ABCs in the snow for my baby because she really likes that. Every day when you come here, I'm gonna have a word of the day, as you can see here. That's what this says, word of the day. And uh, I'll be teaching you a little bit about the word and it'll be something you can try to practice using during the day, and make your vocabulary a little more diverse. Today's word's pretty simple, but I think it really fits with what we're doing. Starts with the letter H. Let's make that a little easier to see. Remember, H is a tall letter, okay? If you make it too short, it's an N. Don't do that. The O is small. Now P is the next letter, and that one is an underground letter. See that? It goes under the line. You have to imagine the line there. And then we're going to add a magic E on the end. And if you remember from class, magic E jumps over and makes the next vowel say its name, which in this case is O. So without the E, <clears throat> you would say H -a -p hop. I'm not telling you to hop today. We're gonna add the magic E and make the O say its name, H O P Hope. Some of you I know, you read that as soon as I wrote it. Good for you. For those of you who sounded out with me, thank you for joining me with that. So the reason I chose hope today is that something that's really important right now. These are tough times. You probably have noticed that everybody is a little bit worried and scared and there's lots of scary news going on. There's lots of things happening. Everybody's really worried about staying healthy and clean and things might not be very easy for you right now. And uh, what we can do during this time is try to have hope. Now hope is looking ahead and realizing that things are gonna get better. And that's what's gonna happen here. What we're doing right now is not the way we're gonna live forever. I know it may feel that way sometimes because the days are getting really long and some of you might actually be getting tired of video games. I know, hard to believe, but it can happen. But even though it feels like a long, long time and it feels like it's never gonna end, this is all gonna end. It's all gonna get better. We can have hope in that. So I hope you will have some hope today and uh, realize that this is gonna get better. Usually when I do this um, daily check-in, I'm going to do a whole bunch more stuff, like do a math talk and do a bunch of words and things like that. But honestly, I'm still learning this and figuring it out. So today we're starting really simple, but I am going to try to read you a story. I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm going to try to hold it up so you can see the pictures. I know I've read this one to you before, but I liked it for today. It's got lots of spirit and hope in it. Okay, so it's called Just One Goal by one of my favorite authors, Robert Munch. And uh, <laughs> I think you'll remember that the girl in here keeps getting told that something can't happen. And she decides, well, I might just be a kid, but I'm gonna make something happen. And she does. 
Now, of course, it's pretty crazy because this is a Robert Munch book. Those are all a little bit weird, but I hope you enjoy it. And please don't try this at home, kids. Just One Goal by Robert Munch. Pictures by Michael Marchenko. I've never known if I'm saying that name right. I hope I am. <clears throat> A rink, a rink, a rink, said Sierra to her father. A rink on the river would be very nice. I would have to go, I wouldn't have to go to all the way across town to play hockey. You know what? I am sorry to interrupt the flow of the story. I'm reading this backwards on my screen. I'm going to just tilt my head over here so I can see the words better. And I'll put it a little closer for you. The ice on the river is a mess, said her father. It froze all jagged and bumpy. You can't make a rink. A rink, a rink, a rink, Sierra said to her mother. A rink on the river would be nice. I would not have to go all the way across town to play hockey. Too bumpy, said her mother. The river ice is too bumpy to make into a rink. Mm. Well, sounds like the end of the story. No rink. Okay, I'm being silly. A rink, a rink, a rink, said Sierra to her sisters. A rink on the river would be nice. I could walk right out the back door and down to the river and play on my own rink. Well, we had to go across town to play hockey, said Sierra sisters, and that was good enough for us. So you have to go across town just like we did. That's not a very good argument for why we should change things. Well, let's see what she does. Okay, 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 said Sierra. She got a glass of warm water and a spoon and went across the backyard down the hill to the frozen bumpy river. She used the water and the spoon to make a very small hockey rink, a good hockey rink for ants. Sierra spent the whole next day carrying warm water down to the river. She worked till it was dark and the northern lights came out. Finally, her rink was big enough for a small dog. Sierra's dad came looking for her and said, wow, a rink, you really made a rink. And I'm just a little kid, said Sierra. The next day, Sierra's dad rented a bulldozer and flattened a lot of river ice. Then all the neighbors came down and helped. By the time the Northern Lights came out, there was a real people-sized rink on the river. A rink, a rink, a rink, yelled Sierra. A real rink on the river. And now we do not have to go all the way across town to play hockey. Sierra started skating and did not go to bed at all that night. The next day, Sierra put up a sign that said River Rats Rink and lots of kids came to play. But no matter what side Sierra was on, her team always lost. One game that Sierra might have won ended when a moose went to sleep in the net. Well, can't do anything about that. Another game ended when a bear chased everybody off the ice. Another game ended when a bunch of teenagers raced through on their snowmobiles. Rude. And that is why when Sierra's team did not want to end on a tied game, just because she was a little bit, the ice was a little bit wet. I'm sorry, I read that wrong. I'm gonna restart that. And that is why Sierra's team did not want to end a tied game, just because the ice was a little wet. It was Sierra's last chance to win a game that year. But suddenly the rink started floating down the river with the rest of the ice crashed and boomed around it. The players did not even notice. Sierra's mom noticed. Ah! yelled Sierra's mom. Break up! That means the ice on the river is starting to break up. Very dangerous, actually. She ran down along the river yelling, stop, stop, stop! But the players couldn't hear them because the ice was making so much noise. Sierra's father ran along the river yelling, stop, stop, stop! but the players could not hear because the ice was making so much noise. Then all the parents ran along the river yelling, stop, 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 but the teams just kept playing. The bridge, yelled Sierra's mom. We can catch them at the bridge. 
Everyone jumped in their cars and drove to the bridge. Then the dads hung from the bridge and the moms hung from the dads and the moms grabbed their kids as the rink went floating by. But nobody got Sierra. She had the puck and she was skating very fast toward the goal. Sierra's dad ran to his car, got his fishing rod, and cast his hook way, way down the river. He caught Sierra just as she scored. We win, yelled Sierra's team, and all the moms and dads fainted. Then the kids carried their moms and dads to a restaurant and fed them hot chocolate, while Sierra started planning next year's rink. Well, I hope you enjoyed Just One Goal by Robert Munch. And I will not be posting any uh, writing or math videos today, but I have signed you all up for a reading program online. Some of you might know it as Raz Kids. Some of you know it as Kids A to Z. Either way, it's a chance for you to read some really interesting books. And I know not all of you love reading, but it actually reads it to you the first time. So for the first time, it's like the computer's reading you a story which is kind of cool. And uh, after that, you read it, you do a little quiz and get some stars, and then you can use the stars to make a little robot and also decorate the space station. For those of you who've never tried it, it's pretty fun. I've used it lots with classes and I think you'll really enjoy it. So I'll be sending an email to your parents today to let them know about that. I'll also be trying to call everybody and see if I can connect with you. And I really hope that uh, we can learn together. Just remember, we are the school. School is not just a building. We are still a school together. We're still a class. I am still your teacher and I still care about each and every one of you and I hope you're all doing really well. I will see you tomorrow on here. Bye.